So, in the coming weeks, maybe in the next three, four weeks, you can come to Keshe Foundation, if you know somebody's got an amputation, if it is amputated months ago, we cannot touch. Doctors have to be able to put the system in operation at a point of amputation. Then, we have to wait for a process of regeneration over months, the system as it works. The way it works, and this is how you have to explain to the doctors, is that, if this is the end of the amputation, as I explained, and you cut the finger, let's say this is a, the finger, and is amputated at this point. Now, you have an interface here. What you do, you place the system facing the cut. That's all you need to do. And you mount it on the perfect side of the finger. Your body continuously, all the time, 24 hours a day, every second, sends information to replace different parts of this part of this toe, this finger. So what happened, without you knowing, you're replacing parts. It's like you're redecorating the house. But a lot of doctors who don't understand, they say we use only 5% or 15% of our brain. The other 85% is not used. This is the doctors who don't understand nothing about the work of the brain. The 85% is continuously monitoring every single cell in your body, when is a due date to replace, to have the material ready forward for it, everything pre-planned two, three months, year before, that this cell needs to be changing in the 12 months time. It's a service industry. So, the information sits there. When you amputate, the information comes here, but, as we said, it takes the lymph, it takes the blood, and then it takes the information from the neurosystem to gel these together as one cell. So, when the information comes, the lymph and blood are always there. The electric current, which is specific for this cell, comes, and because it's not delivered, it creates, it releases its energy at this point, this energy builds up, and has to go somewhere. So, you call it a phantom pain. With putting this system in front of it, what happens? Because this system is gravitational, magnetical, the flow carries on. As, so, as long as the brain is considered, this is replaced, but it's not there. So, what happens? In this process, your body carries on building, step by step. Step by step. So, the, after months, the finger is built. And you move the system further back out as it's built. We think the best perfect gap between the two is about three to five millimeter. In our test, we've seen this. So, in fact, when you create three to five millimeter gap, you create the condition of the flaw in a nano electrons. Be very aware of the science. <clears throat> every cell, in every part of the body of a man, has a, a specific voltage. And the bank of the brain keeps these specific voltages. So, this cell here uses different voltage than this cell next to it. That's how it knows where to be. So, your brain has a bank of voltage, current, gravitational, magnetical field, for every cell in your body. And this is how it reproduces. So, when you put a unit in front, you allow the formation to come in. If you get, if you change this finger to a knee, when you get a blown-up amputation, uh, you walk over a mine, people walk with the sticks for the rest of their life. We are thinking, and we bring into operation, to do this with the new amputations. This technology will be sent as a gift to the Iranian nation, in the coming weeks. For the mines which were set in south of Iran by the Iraqis during the Iran war. It will be sent to the Iraqi government for their people, who go through the same. We are all one race. 
And we let them, at a point of operation, young child losing a um, limb, walking over a landmine which was planted 30 years ago, in Africa, in Mozambique and the rest, we are infiltrating into Africa very heavily from now on. Infiltrating to teach the technology. We would like to see how many governments refuse this. Total cost, less than one cent to produce this material. We are not talking about millions. This place, to save a man, a child, from limping, from disability of lifetime, is one cent. Now, thank you. Thank you. Um, okay, anything else? We've been going on for nearly three and a half hours. Mr. Dr. Kesh, this Kesh. is Vivek again. Yes. Mr. Kesh, this is Vivek again. Sorry, a uh, very quick question regarding the four mini coils that you taught us uh, on Tuesday to regrow the amputated limb. Uh, yeah. Two questions. Uh, are do are the we coils with the guy yet or not? Yes, I, I have, uh, he's actually built the, the mini coils. Would you like to see? Yes, please. This is for the amputation. This is for the amputation. I'll just uh, yes. open the image. He you has not manipulated it. Uh, no, he built it. Okay. Uh, he has not nano coated it yet. He, he has just and sent me this picture. Me it's on the screen now. It's on the screen now. You have to nano coat it with copper oxide and CO2. Okay. Uh, and you can use CH3 if you want. This is perfect. Yeah, it's very beautifully done, sir. Actually, I think with this size, you can use one on its own. One on its own, okay. Yeah. Then yeah. with the then all the ganses will go onto that one coil. All the coils. Yeah, and, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. I tell you what. Let's take the knowledge a step further. I'm okay. going to take over. I'm going to take over um, to show you something. Should I stop the screen share? Please, if you could. Okay. And then this will stop you. Yes, I want to continue. Okay, screen share, we go here. We change the position. You have made a coil, yeah? Yep. And you have four legs, am I correct? Yes, sir. Okay. If you can use the finger, yeah? Yep. And these four coils in the right position as a support to the finger. You understand? Yes, uh, coil it around the the, around the, the finger. remaining uh, part of the thumb, yes. Part of the finger. So, yeah. as it grows, you can move it up. But the beauty with this is that the structure of the GANS on the coil is got to be, not to be touching the skin. If you can put just like a small, um, what do you call it, cling film on it, Okay. It will be the same information as sits and it comes through the skin. So the the process will be very rapid. Okay, so, sir. That, so that is use, you use the leg of your coil, if you make it long enough, as a system to hold on to the skin itself. And you can just move it up. As the finger grows, you move it up that way. If it's not too late, it's a week now. It should have been done much earlier. Try to get it back on it. And make sure you put a cling film on the system. After you nano coat it and you plug against it, just put a small plastic film and keep it away that it never touches the body. Yeah? Yes, sir. And you, then you should the report to us, take pictures of it. Well, it will be very interesting, if it's not healed by now, sealed by now, to be able to see that, you see the bone growing, you see everything growing out. Yes, sir. I've asked him to take pictures as well as, uh, if possible, yeah. make a video and uh, put on YouTube. Does as well he have as any our... pain? Does he have any pain or a phantom pain? I have to ask that question, sir. I yeah, am not... The minute he uses this, he'll disappear. Okay, sir. Keep in is there, take pictures of it. Definitely, sir. Uh, is, does it matter if the coil is uh, point, uh, pointing outward or the center of the coil must be pointing towards the thumb? 
the the point the the coil if you look at it should be the thumb here and the coil itself has to face it flat face flat facing okay yeah, no problem yeah. sir it should be it, it it looks should look as you put a plate facing it yeah yeah so yes sir you pull, you pull it out this sh i i would like to see this because i've seen it as a plate maybe this is much better efficient maybe we maybe. can bring it in. the gap has no, cannot be more than two to three millimeters otherwise the information doesn't go through Make sure you yes. get the constant gap. Thank you very much. Thanks, Vivek. Thank you, sir. I'll ask him to post all the pictures on the KF community site. Thank you very much indeed. Let's see if Thank we can. You, I think it's a week now. It's a bit too late. But let's see what we can do. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thanks very much. Thank you. So, can you can you see my white screen? Okay. Talking about the amputation or neuro damage on the face. You have a lot of these things. The doctors touch the face. You've been born with the scars, with the pain. You had an amputation of the leg or whatever. You, if let's say this is the leg, we usually see the formatting of this. The, the muscle tissue changes, makes a conical shape at the end, even with the arm amputation. What I'm interested in, and we can do it, and you can too, you have to tell us, to make a patch which fits more or less to something around, this is your patch. We're looking anything around, you have to go beyond the information change. The information change at the point of cut does not allow the bone to grow. If you look, the other muscle tissues grow, and they cover themselves. You have a lump of meat at the end. What we are interested in, to go up somewhere about 10 centimeter plus into the perfect part, the bone structure. So if this is the end of the bone, we would like it to go about 10 or 15 centimeter up. Just make a patch that you can put it on and it covers. And what I'm interested in is if you start feeling anything at all in this part, especially in this part of the body, if you have any metals attached to this point, some people put different thing to at the point of the operation, you cannot use. If you have any metal in your body at the point of the amputation or replacement of the whatever, you cannot use this because it's going to cause you huge problems. These are for the people like uh, you walked on a landmine in Africa. You had an accident with your finger, whatever. You put this at least by ratio. If it's your finger and it's the tip or whatever, or if it's your arm, you put a prosthesis at least about one third up of the length. And I want to know how you will change. If you see, you start seeing a systematic growth in the organ, in the arm, in the leg. Discomforts with it. You have to go at the bone structure. You cannot cover the loose structure and you have to go beyond the bone structure by good depth. Because you need the bone to be able to create the flesh around it. Don't forget, at the point of, if you look at the uh, amputation, at the point of amputation, information has been blocked. The reason you don't grow is because here, the amino acid has changed its orientation from conductive to insulation. And the most strangest thing is, is the calcium, which stops. The bone, the meat, the flesh grows around it. So you need a patch with a zinc oxide. You need a patch with a calcium. You need a patch CO2 in it. That should be part of the GANS which you put in your patch. You need CO, uh, CUO, you have, sorry, you need 
zinc, calcium, CO, CuO and CH3. Zinc is, sorry, um, magnesium is needed in this gas. So if you look at it, you mix the mixture and just put it on the patch on the end of the amputation and measure, take a picture. You have to take a picture and monitor it for three to six months. If you see any changes, but it has to cover the whole of the amputation as a patch. I think it can do, because I've done it at the point of amputation, when amputation was done. With this meat growing on the top, it might create a blockage, but in time the body might use it to allow to become part of the flesh itself. Maybe 50 to 100 percent we are right. Maybe there is no need for a child to walk on the mine and be, um, be what you call um, disfigured for life. I've done it with a finger. Now we see the progress, it's time to start giving back what we have taken away. If you have phantom pain, use this patch and see if the phantom pain goes away. And then see if there is changes. I've tried this and it works. I want it to be mass, if we can do, to see if we can extend. But the main component has to be the zinc, the copper, and the calcium. You need the CO for information, you need CHD for changes. Just leave it there, it does nothing, it's just a patch. <laughs> 